Greetings my friends, it's day 87. I have been crying kind of non-stop the whole morning and I I think it's actually a good thing to allow this process to happen because I have literally like kept the lid on on this with a very um yeah with a very censoring, very demeaning, very judgmental type um of internal threshold um, Nazi watch guard and I know I've been talking about this but I, I was not really aware of how um, deeply ingrained this behavior actually was and that I've been constantly controlling my feelings uh, and constantly self-correcting and 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 I really like believe that the way for me I have I mean the intellectual capacity in in comparison with my emotional capacities I mean they kind of like it's like this you know this open scissor it's like as if I was stunted in my development at a very early age and I I I when I'm looking back and coming back from Germany also, I, I become very aware that there was no way out as a child, that I literally like um, thought that any type of emotion was um, threatening my actual survival. I mean, that like the positive emotion were triggering them, the negative emotion were triggering them, and I kind of incarcerated myself somewhere in between a non a non alive state kind of limbo where i just in a way passively committed suicide i think this is really for me at the moment the 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 real crossroad question do i actually want to live and if i want to live then I have to commit to retrieving my emotional nature much more un uncompromisingly than I have been proclaiming to do so. And, um, and also this Candida thing, I mean, I have gone, gone on such rigid militant um, elimination diets and you know fasting for weeks and you know ignoring that i was basically becoming unconscious and god knows what i mean and it has and it has always backfired so this <clears throat> the start of this candida cleanse and the elimination the elimination of the heavy metal toxicity really has to go hand in hand with this um type of emotional uh processing and Obviously, the correction of the mental belief structure that comes with it, that it's unsafe to uh, um, to feel and experience these type of emotions. And so this, for me, is now just, uh, is the focus that obviously I have made a commitment to turn towards living and stop this passive suicidal thing that I've had on the go now for God knows how long yeah so um, and one of them things a part of obviously constantly checking in is to keep moving so I'm gonna go to the gym now and do a bit of cardio and then afterwards to the ceramics and do a bit of sculpturing I see you tomorrow bye bye